Richard Biggins on the set of my newest film, Rocks. And action, 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 action. Rocks the movie is about the Earth fighting back. When um, rocks go bad. Rocks got angry, and now rocks attack. And there's this man, and he was like, <laughs> and then the rocks are like, ah. I mean, it may be a horror movie, but it's you know, it's something deeper, something more important than that. I play the part of Jack, the uh, the humble, you know, economic fighter. I'm actually devoured by gravel in a playground. It's very exciting. I think we're gonna get a lot of screams out of the audience. I know I'm gonna be kind of scared to watch it. I am the, uh, the uh, sound technician. There's, there's really a lot going on all around. It's a lot like standing in the midst of a windstorm and being told to capture only the best parts with a microphone. Yeah, I, I don't play a big role. I, I'm actually a PA. It's it, it really is my passion. It really does. It's really like a really important part of a part of a movie. It's about me. Like it's about the scientist and the interactions he has with these rocks. So rocks the movie. It's about my character. This was my first film since I got back from rehab, and oh, I love it. My part. He's a stuntman, all right? Because because all these actors are freaking like lame as hell, all right? They're all, they're all like, no, you know, we don't get paid the big bucks to get hit. We get paid the big bucks to pretend they're like other people. The only good thing we had was a cameraman, and that's me. I love the cast and the crew. It's everything so exciting. Um, the actors are amazing. I got to work with Moonbeam Williams, who I have a little bit of a crush on. Moonbeam is such a wonderful actor. Oh my goodness. Juliet has been wonderful to work with. She's very experienced, really pretty. Jeremy, our cameraman, uh, he was a little pompous, uh, but I, I guess it's hard to be humble when you're great. Working with the crew and cast was an awful experience. There's a lot of things going on. And I, I just didn't have the time to deal with you and your stupid obsessions with your own superiority over everybody else. All right, amateur hour, calm down. You really I haven't been doing this. I am long. calm, man. None of these people were professionals. They were the opposite of professionals. I guess you could call them amateurs. Oh, come on, you big baby. I'm trying to help you out. Uh, yeah, What'd you do? I just told him how what bad he was doing. Bad he was doing? He was, he's doing great. What are you talking about? The sound is totally off. We have to go apologize. You have to use, you have to use your words. You gotta be nice. We, we can't make this movie work okay. if we don't if we only use our words and we don't respect each other. Our uh, sound engineer, he uh, he got a little emotional at times, but uh, he's got a pretty stressful job, and especially with uh, Jeremy on his back all the time. Get, get, get out of there, Mike! Come on, come on, you gotta come out, Mike. I'm, I don't want to come out. I know. I'm sorry. I said those oh. things. He will tell you himself. But claims to have worked with a lot of uh, professional people in professional meetings, somebody who's getting paid and so on. He's got, may, may very well have a lot of experience that we don't, and he likes to let us know that. that that's okay, because we, we need somebody to do what he does. Not, it takes more than just one person to capture the film. The motions and such and the facial expression is something you can't catch on the mic. Pam, our makeup artist, uh, she does a great job, but uh, She's, uh, she's a little on the, uh, the over the top. Also, she has this thing it, with the camera. Um, I believe she's deathly afraid of okay, this face okay, this way. Okay. Our writer, he's, uh, he's also a little odd, but uh, just a great artist. I'm not happy with how you're changing my work. What am I changing? This is how you wrote it, didn't you? Mr. Biggins, I don't quite agree with his style. I, hey, I can't hear you. If, if I can't hear you, it must not be important. He, he's just uh, spectacular in his, in his descriptions, um, but because of that, I had to cut a lot out. The hair and makeup lady and the writing guy, they, they get a little weird, um, a little bit obsessive. Uh, I saw the writing guy come up to the director a couple times. And... I've, I've known Richard for, for a long time. Uh... We actually kind of grew up together, you know. 
I definitely respect him as a director. You know, he's willing to put me in the movie. That was really great. He added a new scene. He really worked with the writer. I think every he really cooperates, and he's very respectful to everybody. I think he even employed uh, a deaf man. I don't know what that means. We couldn't figure out if he was actually deaf or not. Um, but you can't fire a, a sound guy for being deaf. Logan. Just a wonderful character actor. I mean, sometimes after a shoot, he'll stay in his character for days. Whatever happens, I want you to stay in character. Okay? I always stay in character. Sometimes he can be a little sarcastic. I promise. This is hilarious. We need the, uh, we need the... Who's this man Steven Spielberg? I don't judge. I'm not the kind of character persona who judges, really. Smell that smells like... Oh, it is. It's technical crew. Tim? Uh... One of our one of our grips, uh, he's a he's a strange guy. Um, he would do tasks on set um, that pretty much meant nothing. But thank said, you. said you wanted the golf ball, so I, I, I brought you. Don't the remember golf ball. asking for a golf ball. You know, I really like my hot dogs on a bun with lots and lots of salt. You already gave me a ball. Besides that, you gave me this golf you ball. It was the wrong time. I just didn't understand him half the time. I think the director has big plans for this movie. The end result will be a straight-to-DVD flop. I imagine the end result of this film to be as big a movie as Bad Boys 2. I never thought that rocks could be that scary. They'll go on to make millions. You know what? Basketball is just a great sport. The greatest horror movie of our time. After this film, well, I have a few offers after this film. Um, I don't have a job. I'm going to be working with Stanley Kubrick on a couple of films. You know, all he has to do is contact me. It's been a while. Well, I was thinking more of working on a love story. My mom doesn't want me in the house anymore. I plan on working with professionals again. After this film, I've got another uh, film lined up with Dick. Uh, it's, it's called The Flush. I, I skipped out of college because someone dared me to. You know, sometimes I really want to be an astronaut. Maybe, maybe I can be in more movies where they need somebody to die. I think I'm good at that. It's all about just the fun and the glory of uh, finishing that film. <sighs> Let's go make a movie.